good leadership starts right there from the womb in the home. Whether it's a single mom, whether it's a mom and a dad, or a grandmother, what that kid is fed 24-7 every day is what they go leave. You know, you tell some folks, don't uh, do what I do, but just do what I say. Well, that's that's no good. They're going to do what they see every day. Even though it can say I'm gone constantly, sometimes the wash, get back, the housework not gone. But I tell you one thing, my number one priority is make sure I feed my children my I'm in their band all day. You gonna be a doctor, lawyer, Indian chief. This is what you're gonna do. You wanna get a job? Nope, you can't get no job. You gotta go to school. Nope, you gotta do this. You gotta do that. I said, cause a job is just minimum wage. I wanna let them know I am preparing you to be the next leader of this world. And the only way well, you can, because there's such a big gap between the other national and the black children. I said, you got the same opportunity sometimes to go to school. But because of what's going on in their lives, they're not making it to school. When they get to school, they're not concentrating on school. So I try to get my children, if they need a ride someplace, I'm getting them right. Either I'm taking them where they gotta go, or I'm paying for a ride to get there. My mother was a single mom. She worked all the time, but we had chores to do. And she would take her little money, she would go to school, to the market, at the end, she had a running towel at the grocery store on the corner, they let her shop, and she just pay on her bills. So there was moments that we had. I also watched my mother take a dollar, stretch it till almost out. You know what I'm saying? Or God just bless her. Folks would give her old greens or old sweet potatoes. She cut the old part up for we have us some greens and candy yam and cracking the cornbread. And so that's why I remember it was in my home upbringing. And the first chance that my mother got to put me in a private school, she did. And I knew because they got kids labeled, they already knew we was going to be the workforce. They didn't cut us off to be the top like Ben Carson. They didn't expect Ben Carson to be a top neurosurgeon in the world. He was the dumbest kid in his class, if you read his story. Well, my mom knew that they had us down in the basement at Sumner learning. And they already knew we weren't going to go to college, maybe. So it started in that home with that mom who came off of alcohol because she had a divine encounter with God. First of all, God changed her heart. He delivered from alcohol. Then she became the mother. She, even when she was an alcohol, she still made sure we had a home. There weren't a whole lot of men coming. I just remember one. So she even had some sense, even in her addiction, you know. So when she started changing that, then she began to change our future. So the home is important. We got, So I encourage you all, go into the homes. I know it seemed like, let me get a big crowd. You can do better going to one home, talking to one mother with five or ten kids at a time. So I commend you to go into these homes, save these families, because otherwise if we're not there to teach them, the TV is not giving Look at the example on TV they give you. Sex in the city, homosexuality. They're bombarded 24-7. So what you think they're going to do? At the same time, they're uneducated, no jobs, trying to pay rent like that on a minimum wage position. So we're the only hope they have, and that's God. 